Here's my 1971 Volkswagen Bay Window passenger van. It's the deluxe version. So it has all the um, outside trim that's all polished and fancy. Um, and of course around the windows. Uh, it's got a 4 inch Wagon West narrowed beam, 2.5 inch drop spindles, 4.5 inch rear shackles in the back, uh, 15 inch BRM rims, it's not tubbed in the front, so you still have the stock height for sitting, which is great, but I have the nice low profile 145, um, sorry, 165, 45, 15 inch tires, so you, you don't have any rubbing issues. And uh, same for the rear, they're 165, 50s. Um, yeah, so I'll do a quick walk around and show you what's going on. It's got the rear jail bar set on the windows. Motor, I'll give you a quick glimpse of that. Uh, yeah, so it's got um, new alternator, new carburetor, pulley sets new, all the wiring is fresh, um, battery's good, fuel filter's fresh, all the fuel lines are new. I put a fire suppression system in it, so if there's ever anything that could come about as far as, you know, God forbid a fire, it's, uh, it puts it out instantly. So that's a nice bonus in this, and it's made by Blaze Cut. Um, brand new muffler system. Yeah, it purrs like a kitten. Um, so that's the motor. Uh, so there's the rear. Let's do a quick little body walk around. It's not perfect, but it's a very solid example. It's a true survivor. I did have a BC provincial inspection done about nine months ago, so that's a huge bonus. The window seals aren't perfect. They're starting to dry crack and lift in spots, but they're still there and they're still functioning. The front, uh, the front sills, the scrapers, they probably should be replaced. The roof rain gutters are in great shape. No holes, no rot. As far as the interior, There's the interior, three spoke steering wheel, empty shifter. The two bench seat with seat belts. Roof liner is in really nice shape. Door cards are still here, they're original. Not perfect, but still very good. It's got the rear parcel shelf in the back, so you can throw down a cushion and have a sleep if you like, if you really wanted to. The little holes for uh, mounting curtains on a, a rods are there if you want to put curtains into it. I have uh, well, didn't have any need for it. Um, let me go to the other side. I've upgraded the uh, headlights and the uh, bumper driving lights are all LED. All the bottom, the nose cone, all of it's all been replaced. It's all brand new metal. Rockers are new. Needs the inner rocker still, but all like the outriggers, dog legs, all of that stuff is all solid. Let's see if we can see from underneath. See, it's all cherry. Great shape. You say it's a great bus. Give you an idea of what's happening as best as I can. Has uh, air shocks up front. There's no compressor or anything. The shocks are just there. You can add a uh, compressor if you liked. So the only bad spots that are left are the rear bottom uh, body uh, corners here. Very typical of them. So this is the only two spots that need to be dealt with as far as bad spots. Let's see if I can 
can show you from underneath again here, over here. Yeah. Get a good sense of what you're looking at. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you the interior on the other side. Oh, my finger in the way? Sorry. Uh, yeah. I put in an aftermarket five channel amplifier, has an eight inch subwoofer, two six by nine uh, component separates. So they have the, the tweeter and the woofer are separate from each other. So they have uh, crossovers, they're components, not coaxial. Same with the fronts, I put in component speakers. It sounds really good for people that wanna jam the bar barley or so be it. I put all new sliding hardware into the slider door, top, bottom, and rear mechanism. It's all brand new. But it still likes to stick a little bit for when you try to open the first beginning points of this part. So you kind of grab it over here and just kind of pull it a little bit and, it, and then it slides freely from there. But I'm gonna have to put my phone down um, in order to open this for you. See when you go to open it, it kind of pops, but not quite enough. Yeah, so I'll put you down so I can open that. And then it pops open from there and then you just slide it. As you can hear it slides beautiful. Locks there. Hopefully this is showing up for you guys. You can see what's happening here. Oh yeah, I'll show you underneath the mat up front here. Right, you can see it's all clean. That's just dust from my uh from the uh, horsehair seats. Yeah, all of that here. Let's see if I can open up the other side for you. Not the best video in the world. I'm not, uh, I'm not a video person, but you can see it's all nice and solid. Go back around. So it has had a little patch here that was done by a previous owner with a couple little patches, but it hasn't bothered me enough to go through and actually change it. If you wanted to, you could, but it's solid. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see in here, audio system, little hole for where I had the subwoofer box. It's got the rear tire um, cover still. Uh, yeah, I'll close the door, I'll start it up for you. Lock her up. Oops, my hand in the way again. All the lights work, horn works, signal work, e-brake works. Put the seatbelt down so I can sit down. Put my hand in the way again. Purrs like kitten. Horn worky. I hope this gives you some insight of my bus. Figured since the overwhelming levels of response to it, I'd make a little more in depth video with interior and overall walk around. Motor running a little bit for you. I'm on Vancouver Island, BC, Canada. windows wind up and down everything functions as it should all right well um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and gives you some insight 
Uh, again, though, I won't I won't meet people halfway. I'm too busy with my time, with the overwhelming amount of uh, interest. Um, I just don't have the time to try to please everybody. Uh, you'll have to come to me if you want to deal with the van, or have if you're looking for shipping, you can have a company come in into me at my place, and uh, we can deal with it from there. Uh, okay, thank you for your time.